Should be a good one between Sweden and Germany. Let's take a look at our first half problem. highlights Hi. here Hi. in the first end. A, a miss on Nicholas's first one. Yeah, but he still manages to have a shot for two here. He makes this very nice spin double for the two. Could have been more, but uh, happy with two. And in the second end, a flash from Oscar Eriksson on Team Sweden earlier in the end and uh, ends up setting up this two for Germany. They just have to hit the rings and that will be another two on the board. And in the third end, Sweden set up for uh, more than two here. Germany makes a double and Nicholas has this last shot. Hack weight tap, not even hack weight, but manages to move it far enough and takes another two. And let's take a look at our second half highlights here. Germany with a chance for a single here and uh, a little heavy and a little wide and rolls off two. and gives Sweden a big steal of two points. Uh, yeah. And we go to the seventh and Kadeen played a big weight hit and roll and rubbed his own and left a chance here, simple chance here for yeah. Germany for two points and they uh, are sure. able to make that happen. Eighth and, oh. and another small, small miss from uh, Sweden. And they end up being forced to a single uh. in this end, and that's no problem. And then we head to Bra. the end of the game, and uh, it's handshakes, and... Sorry, ninth end. Four handshakes, and uh, chance for a single here for Germany. And no problem, but that will be enough for them, and uh, they concede and give Sweden the win. And well played team by Sweden over Germany, and they take that final game, <laughs> that final nine to six. Okay, here with uh, Nicholas Adin, Nick, uh, fifth win of the week. Uh, solid performance from all your players, but why don't you tell me how you're feeling as we get to, to the last half of the round, Robin? Yeah, we definitely feel uh, better now than in the beginning. We, we always uh, get off to slow starts, uh, it seems, so we're kind of used to it. But uh, definitely uh, had to fight a little bit in the beginning of uh, the tournament. Uh, but now we feel uh, comfortable out there. We're making a lot of shots, and then I think uh, we can turn it up a notch too when we need to. But uh, for now, we're kind of just gathering information and trying to get the wins. Well, now that well, you, you had a tough start, you did have to play uh, Bruce Mellot first game. You got him out of the way. So as we look forward, uh, what uh, what are you focusing on as you move towards playoffs? Yeah, I think we still have a couple of tough teams and we still want the, the wins in the rest of the games. And if Scotland happened to lose one, we, we're still fighting for uh, maybe getting hammer in playoffs. And, and that's important too. But as of right now, it's not in our hands. But if we can uh, keep uh, playing well and winning games, we're still in a good, uh, good spirits and good confidence for the playoffs. Thanks for your time and good luck the rest of the week. Thank you so much.